Hello, YouTube. I've decided to stipple my Glock, and uh, I was, wasn't trying to do a good job or anything like that. I just wanted to increase the texturing. So this is what it turned out like. And it definitely feels like I can control the gun a lot better than before with uh, factory uh, stippling or texturing, rather, on the grip. Um, the stippling I did uh, was very simple, and all I was going for is texture, a lot of texture. And I got it, uh, and I think I made it aggressive enough to where my weak hand or support hand is actually hurting a little bit when I'm shooting this pistol, uh, specifically the thumb um, of the support hand. But overall, uh, I think it, the pistol is much easier to control. Reason I'm shaking my head right there is because I'm still trying to learn to shoot with both eyes open. And as a result, my groups are suffering a bit. Um, so it's just not not pleasant to see your groups open up. I'm shooting at two inch uh, sticky targets uh, and I'll show you the target in a little bit so you can see. Uh, you'll also see how I'm kind of walking all over that two inch uh, circle and getting out of it too. So that's the reason why I wasn't ecstatic <laughs> about about that uh, that shooting experience. But it was still good. Still good to get out. So here's the target. Uh, this is at seven yards, so pretty close. And uh, normally, I think I'd be able to shoot a little bit better if I was uh, if I was to close one of my eyes um, and just aim with with one, as opposed to trying to shoot with both eyes open. But it's still not bad, um, and I th I think the only thing that's going to make me shoot better. Uh, with both eyes open and is if I continue to shoot with both eyes both eyes open. Uh, these groups are actually better than um, than when I started to shoot with both eyes open um, and I actually started to shoot like that with my 1911. So uh, this was the first time I tried to shoot with both eyes open uh, using my Glock and <clears throat> it's not bad. I mean I'm getting about two and a half, uh, three inch groups. If you count the flyers or the ones I pulled off to the side, um, I think probably at, at most there are three inch groups, maybe four inch groups, something like that. If you discount the ones that the bad pulls, um, then probably two and a half inch groups. So still not, not bad. So far I've been using PPU 115 grain ammo and I actually brought out about a box of Hush ammo uh, which is the subsonic ammo from Freedom Munitions. Uh, it's, I believe the bullet is actually much heavier, it's about 165 grains or something like that, uh, but the power factor is lower overall so it's a softer shooting ammo. So I'm going to show you here uh, the difference. I think my camera angle could have been a little bit better, but you'll still be able to see. Uh, this is the regular PPU ammo, uh, 115 grain. Notice the ejection uh, and uh, the muzzle muzzle flip, which is not bad because I'm actually really uh, holding on to the gun uh, as hard as I can. And I've only shot one magazine of this ammo. And now I'm going to switch to the Hush ammo.
Okay, so that probably didn't look all that different, and simply because I, I think I'm relaxing my grip a little bit, knowing that it's software ammo. So here's 115 grain uh, PPU ammo again. I'm gripping the gun tightly. You can see the muzzle flip is not bad, and you can see the ejection is much stronger out to the side. So it's still not bad, but as far as comfort goes and as far as the feel goes here's here's hush ammo from freedom munitions you can see it's very reliable it feeds and ejects consistently but see it's got a lot less energy the ejection is different and uh it definitely feels more like a 22 lr pistol um or probably 22 magnum or something like that but very soft Try shooting some steel. to go down to uh, 100 yards. That's the 100 yard target. Let's see if I can hit it. Got a few. 